Hi, this is Glenda and today I'm going to attempt to paint an ostrich which I've never painted before so I probably should have practiced before. Um, I, I, I will be participating in an event uh, it's like a safari theme and since this is a common animal in Africa well, I don't know how common but at least we live there. I thought I'll make this. In basic shape, just something run for the head and then the neck. I made this split cake, so it's pretty much black, gray, and white. And I'm gonna be using this brush because I figure it will give me that texture of the um feathers. I'm looking at a picture first of the head. I actually have several pictures pulled up to give me ideas. And this white paint has dried pretty fast so I may even attempt to do the eyes now which are quite big. I'm really sure if this is reading like an eye, so I think I should have used, uh, yes, I'm going to switch to a finer tip brush to do some of the eyelashes. And I should perhaps use the yellow or the orange to make the beak. That is looking like he's wearing sunglasses. I think I'm gonna come back and fix the eyes later, but for now, I'm going to attempt to do the body, the feathers. So I think I will try to load this brush with all three colors and then just. Two different brush strokes. And last, choose the. Uh, this is gonna have to be an arm design. You need something really long. I don't think I could do this on somebody's face. Did you know that chickens are the closest relative to a dinosaur that we have now? Chickens and ostriches, I've been reading. So, our little ostrich here looks like he's wearing sunglasses. I will need to fix that. Not sure how. I think I should have done the eyes just white. But the pictures that I was looking at, some of here, the eyes just look like dark brown. Here it looks like a lighter brown. So, since this is not an actual representation of one, but more of a face painting design of one, I think. Next time, I'm just going to leave the whole thing white. Like if I make the head white, right? And then maybe I can just do the outline and the little uh, pupil of the eye. And that's looking more cartoony, which is fine. But I think at least it's better than it looking like it's wearing uh, sunglasses. So, this is my first attempt. I'll try a different one to refine it. 
and I just wanted to give you an idea of an unusual animal to paint.